Welcome back and finally we're hitting part three of our three-part series of organizing your Gmail inbox. Today I'm going to show you how to use code and a specific script to run and auto archive your emails in your inbox after a certain amount of days. So part one was all about setting up labels. Part two was about using the multiple inboxes feature in the labs and today we're going even further to organize and sort our inbox by adding these automatic features that will archive our emails not immediately but after a certain amount of time. Don't worry I walk you step by step through the code and show you it all so if code is not your thing do not fear I'll hold your hand and we'll get through it together. If you have any questions always be sure to reach out and without further ado here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've been through two parts of organizing our Gmail inbox, and the inbox still looks a little messy. So the last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of automation so that certain emails are archived automatically after a certain amount of time, whether it's one, two, three, or seven days, yeah. So the first thing I did in order to make that happen is I found this article here on Medium and I thought we you and I would walk through it together to see how it works. So the first thing it says is how to archive emails after two days. Now on the script page where people were making comments someone updated the script to allow multiple tags to do multiple different options of days and I liked that better so that they weren't all just two days. So that's why I went with that. The first step is to create the labels and then use the filters to add the labels, which I showed you back in part one of this series. So what you can do is take a message, for example, and um, filter. Uh, I want to be very specific so that if other emails come in from that company, okay, this one probably isn't a good example because there's only two. Um, here, your, your meeting attendees are waiting. That's nothing that I need more than a day. So I'm going to go to filter messages like these, but there's a lot of emails coming in from Zoom and I wanna make sure that I'm only archiving these specific ones so I can see some of the other notifications if they're important. So I would say has the words um, your meeting attendees are waiting. There. So only the ones that have those words your meeting attendees are waiting will get auto archived after a day. So I'm going to apply the label a1. Create filter. Now as you can see I already went through and created these tags by going to uh, the settings and I clicked on labels and I created those labels. So now all I have to do is go through and say oh okay well um, let's see what about my here, my weekly report. That's usually nothing that I need to keep more than a week, um, but sometimes I forget to go in and archive it. So we'll set it up to automatically do that. Let's filter. And I, like I said, I want to make sure that it's very specific. So I want to make sure it says the word clean, your site report, your site is reported clean. Oops. There. So only if it's reported clean will it get auto archive. Okay. 
after, let's say, seven days. Okay, perfect. So I could continue to go through and, and label these, but I'll go back and do it later. So the next thing it said is after creating the label, then we need to go to script.google.com to create the script. And then it says, go ahead and get the, your code here. But when I read the comments, that's when I found that there were modifications to make it better. And then also they created this version where you could have multiple different days for an auto archive. So it said to go ahead and grab the code. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my project and paste it in. Um, but obviously I, I did make that change where the label isn't the full auto archive, it's just the A dash. So I'm going to delete that out of this line here, the label by name. And then uh, this person down here actually said that they didn't like that the script marks everything as as uh, red, so they changed that, but I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, so next you would go to File, Save, and you would name it Gmail Auto Archive. So then go in the Run menu and select it. And then it will uh, require access to review permissions. So Run, Run Function, um, Auto Archive. OK, Review Permissions. I'm going to go to it anyway. Allow, because I want it to manage my email. And it's running the function. Okay, so obviously we won't be able to know if it worked until a day at least, because that was the soonest I set it up. But within this script, I can set up a daily trigger, which is what I want to do, so that it basically scans or runs every day. So I'm going to click on Resources, All Your Triggers. Mm, not an option. It's under edit. Edit all your triggers. So we can add a new one. So we want to run this script, time driven. Um, you can run it every 12 hours or every day if you'd like. Twelve hours sounds good. Save. And then, of course, it says you can tweak and customize it to your heart's desire if you are the techie type. <laughs> and I know that can be scary sometimes. So I'm not going to mess with this anymore. And I'm just going to hope that after a day, these will auto archive. And I can't wait to see some of these emails getting automatically cleaned up if I just can't get to them in time to archive them all the time. 
hope this helped and I hope the whole series helped. If you haven't checked out the other videos, um, day one was all about adding the tags and auto archiving immediately different things that are tagged. Whereas what we just went over auto archives after a certain amount of time. And then also day two or part two, I should say, was going over how to have these multiple little panels here all within your inbox in a, in a special labs feature called multiple inboxes. So be sure to check those out and I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.